a tree falls in the forest, it doesn't make a sound. Back. Some say the best cure for love is another bite of the cherry. Well, that's bullshit. The same cherry ain't gonna taste any different the second time around. What were you thinking? I told you! We were playing Overkill Extreme. I got the munchies, I put the popcorn in the microwave, and I got distracted. Okay? Chillax! <laughs> well, there's no question about it. You are buying a new microwave. Guys, guys, please. My head. James, you didn't. You did. <laughs> How are you feeling? My, uh, my mouth, my tongue, tastes like... Like a little green goblin took a shit in it? Who shit? Go goblin what? What's happening? Jimmy and he hit the bottle. And the bottle just Superman punched him in the back of the head. Oh, why? Oh, it's because your girlfriend, she cheated on you. Oh, it's okay, James. You'll find someone else. Someone better. Yeah, that's what I keep trying to tell him. Forget about it, dude. It's not that easy. We were together for two years. Yeah, but, you know, you just need to find the right drugs. I mean, this shit isn't going to help you. It'll just fuck you up even more. That's why I got the ganja, man. I had a whole lot of terrible shit happen in my life. Thanks to dope. I can't remember any of it. Well, what sort of shit? Well, I don't know. Like I said, I can't remember. Excuse me. We are not paying for OJ for your boyfriends. It's not for him. He's already gone. Oh. It's for James. There we go. Thanks, Beth. You have to rehydrate now. <laughs> Thanks. It's like Nate said. When things like this happen, you just have to move on. That's right, Judith. Put it behind you. Burn it, bury it, and put a fucking boulder on it. Just like Jesus. And this time, there'll be no resurrection. It's kind of like what Blake said. What? Blake, I uh, saw him last night. It's like some sort of mystical face painted Buddha. But, but Blake, you saw Blake. Uh, and he talked to you. Well. Blake never talks to anyone. Well, except other goths. And even they don't talk, they just sit around and look depressed. Well, you talk to me. We had a nice long chat, actually. <laughs> oh my god. Maybe he's the one. Maybe? Whoa. That's wicked awesome. The, the one? What the hell are you guys talking about? The chosen one. That'll be the clone master looking for a weed. <clears throat> Glass. Nice legs. Thanks. Hungover again. He's got a major drinking problem. Really? Total pisshead. It's a fucking shocker. Anyway, I'll go get your gear.
Yo. Sit down. There's something I need to show you. This was like two years ago. What happened? Nobody knows. One day he just turned goth. He went into his room and never came out in daylight again. About a year ago, Beck went to a clairvoyant. A clairvoyant? Well, she was a manicurist, but she did clairvoyance on the side. And she said one day someone would come into the house and Blake would bond with them. After this, he'd come out of his shell. And you think that person's me? Bye, James. <laughs> Bye, Chloe. Um, I have a demo CD of our band. Do you want me to bring it over? Yeah, yeah, I'd like that. Great. Tonight, okay? Yeah, it should be. Cool, I'll bring it over then. See ya. Shit! I can't believe how much dope she's buying. Man, I'm gonna have to get Sergei to hook me up again. She is whack. So, James, can you help? Can you get Blake to come out of his room? It's like a closet in there. Well, I... I don't know, I mean... I can't stay up all night. And when am I gonna see him? I mean, I'm on early's all next week. Well, he can't stay in that room for the rest of his life. Unless we can lure him. What kind of music does he listen to? I don't know. Goth music. Horror film music. What, like... No, like... Phantom of the Opera. Organ music. Organ music. Okay. Okay, well, I'll give it a shot. <laughs> but if we do this, you're all gonna have to do exactly as I say. Rachel, can you scrub your side? What's the point in doing this? We can't black out the house every day so Blake will come out. We'll just have to do it in stages. First, we'll overcome his fear of people. Then we'll get him used to the light. The Blake is such a timid creature that it rarely ventures out of its burrow. The challenge for the team will be to see if they can coax the creature into overcoming its fear of human habitation. Nate, get over here and help. I have to go get changed. Phew, that was close. That was Rachelis the Bitches, a terrifying predator that is the enemy of the Blake. She is the reason that it rarely emerges from its hole. Sorry, Rosa. That? that was just a bit of scientific research from my latest stocko, the human condition. I'm uh, quoting some offers from some big Hollywood name studios. No. What do you mean she's the reason? Didn't Rachel tell you why Blake is hiding? She said no one knows. <laughs> she knows why. Everyone knows why. <laughs> why? Dude, she slept with him. She stalked him and bullied him into having sex with her. And the experience was so horrific that he's been hiding in his room ever since. She's the reason that he never wants to come out during the daytime. He doesn't want to run into her. How could sex with anyone be that bad? Oh, brother, I don't even want to imagine. Whoa. But it freaked him out for good. Oh, she must be the scariest lay in the world. Okay, I'm done. Let me see. Okay, I'm done. People, take your positions. And remember, no one comes in until I give the signal. Rachel, you're lost. The team must be very careful. If the creature senses danger, it might panic and make a run for it. Now.
love this place. Me too. James. Blake. Hey, Blake. Would you like some absinthe? Yeah, yeah, sure. Yes, please. I'll get a glass then. Blake? It's okay, Blake. She's not gonna hurt you. It's okay. Easy, boy. Calm down. Come on. Just relax. Right. He's the Blake Whisperer. So, Blake. How's life treating you? Terrible. My Neopet died yesterday. I gave it a Viking funeral, though. That's... awful. Isn't it just? I... I did predict it in the trigrams, though. Fire ignites within the lake, defying conditions that would deny it birth or survival. The superior person reads the signs of the times and makes the season apparent to all. The support you need will come only after the deed is done. Renewed forces, however, will provide fresh energy for exceptional progress. Persevere, for all differences vanish. Once again, your ornate wisdom has struck the nail on the head. James. When the shameful one appears crowing, you must not subside to her actions. For this would prove most contrived. I'm sorry, Blake. I don't understand what you're talking about. Shameful. I don't. I don't know either. Maybe I should stop drinking absinthe. I'll go get you some water. Tough. What was your neopet's name? Ravenswald. I can't believe we stayed out for an entire hour. In daytime. Amazing. Alright, well don't get your hopes up. We still gotta get in used to it gradually. It's one day at a time. One day at a time, dude. It's how life comes. Who could that be? Actually, uh, that, that might be Chloe. Balls. I better handle this. She's smoking way too much. It's okay. She's actually, uh, just dropping something off with me. Dude, don't do it, man. She's a basket case. What in the name of Jeffrey Robinson are you talking about? Yeah, Chloe's great. Hey, you also know like I know. I know stuff about her. You know nothing. You're an idiot. Hey, just trying to do him a favour. Stop making a big crab infested mistake. Hey, Chloe. Emma. James. Can I come in? Um. Yeah, sure. Is 
This is nice. So this is where you're living now. Yeah. <laughs> So, what's been happening? <laughs> Don't even ask. What are you doing? Leave them be! Shh! No way. It's not Chloe. What? Who is it? What's going on? Shh, it's not Chloe. They know. I think it's the ex. Emma, what's she doing here? No job! Dad, what a slut. Everything is just totally... Fucked. I know I shouldn't bother you. I just needed someone to talk to. No, that's that's okay. That's that's fine. So you want some coffee? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Medications <laughs> just down this way. I just don't get how people can be so dishonest. Yeah, who? Anton. Anton. <laughs> you know how he said to me I was his soulmate? Blah, blah, blah. What a load of crap. What are you doing? I'm going in. What? I want to see what she looks like. You can't. Dude, I'm just going to take a quick peek. But that's bullshit, because... Oh, hey. Oh, sorry, I didn't know those guys were in here. Nate, this is Em. Hi, hey. Em, this is Nate. Yeah, I've heard a lot about you. Yeah. Oh, no, no, like, you know, all good things. Really? Yeah, yeah, I'm really pleased to meet you. Sorry, were you making tea? Yeah, no, no, I'm just making some maracas, you know. Did you, did you go? Yeah, um, <clears throat> yeah, anyway, I better get started. Got a big meeting with the record label tomorrow, so, yeah, nice to meet you, Emma. What's your name? Wow, she's a little mix. I gotta go see. I don't know. Both of us. Okay. She tells me he was born here. So I asked him, I said, Why did you tell me that? Nate, you are not using my rice to make maracas. You're such a dear Hi, I'm Rachel. And I'm back. Hi, I'm Emma. It's nice to finally meet you. <clears throat> so, you guys all right in here? Do you want some food or anything? I mean, we can whip out. We're fine. Just... Thanks, Rachel. We're fine. Come on, girls, back. Come on. Should we go to my room? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. So what does Beck do? Oh, she's at uni studying soon. Sounds like she's having troubles with the new boyfriend. Maybe she wants him back. He wouldn't be that stupid. I don't know. She's pretty hot. You told James that she was a succubus and that she'd suck him dry. Yeah, but I meant that in a good way. That's disgusting. He's gonna make a huge mistake. Let's hope not. So did you confront him or? Yeah. 
He says it was because he was going through this really tough time with Felicity and that she was having these psychotic attacks or something. I don't even know if he's telling the truth. <sighs> Can't believe I'm telling you all this. You must hate me. As if you care about my problems. Hey, I don't, I don't hate you. I mean, we said we'd always be friends, right? And I meant that. And that was before you cheated on me. I'm so sorry. You know, Em, I... I can't deny the fact that I still care about you. You're sweet, James. You really are too nice. <laughs> what can I say? I guess I'm just a nice guy, right? <laughs> Could I ask one more favour? Yeah, sure. Can I stay here tonight? It's just that I know Anton's gonna come around and wanna talk and... I just, I couldn't... Yeah, um, I mean, yeah, that's, that's fine. I don't mean like sleep together. <laughs> I'll just sleep on the floor with the pillow. Yeah, yeah, um, you can, you can sleep here. In fact, you can just sleep in my bed. It, it'll be fine. I won't jump you <laughs> or anything. <laughs> we can just sleep side by side. Platonically. Platonically. Yes. Good night. Hey babe, what's cooking? Just gonna give this to James. Ah, bad timing. Yeah, he's um, he's a bit busy at the moment. The um, <clears throat> this has dropped around. They're um, patching things up. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Just um, give him this. Sure. Thanks. Yeah, no working fires.